Why, hello! Welcome, let's play some Dragon Warrior 3. And just to warn you, I am going to be referring to Dragon Warrior 3 as Dragon Quest 3 and back throughout this entire thing. And I'm not going to apologize for it or correct myself for it because this is Dragon Quest 3 in Japan. And I'm not trying to sound like pretentious about that or anything, but shh, let's watch the intro. This is one of the coolest intros of any game. It's a lone hero fighting on the dragon. Well, fighting a dragon, not fighting on a dragon. He's fighting on a volcano. A very cartoonish volcano. With a very flat top. Cuts off a dragon's wing, and then stabs him in the chest. But in the dragon's final moments, they both fall into the volcano. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm not trying to sound pretentious there. It's just with the Game Boy um, DS releases of Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6, um, and 8, and everything, I've really gotten myself used to calling them the Dragon Quest games. I'm going to erase my previous game. Alright, so, as far as party goes, I, I was originally going to do a, um, the hero, a pilgrim, a wizard, and a goof-off. I was going to change the wizard into a sage, the goof-off into a sage, and the pilgrim into a fighter. Then I'd have a fighter capable of ca casting healing spells. Um, but then I realized that one sage would be weaker than the other. The goof-off stage gets significantly less magic points uh, throughout the game. And that just wouldn't be fair. I mean, I like having my sages at even levels. I named them after my friends. So come with your mother. We're meeting the king. On a, our 16th birthday. Um, and then I was, so then I was going to go with the hero, two pilgrims, and a wizard. Turn the wizard into a sage, and the pilgrims into fighters. So I'd have fighters with level 20 healing magic. But, again, you know. Level 20 healing magic, especially with the low amount of MP those fighters would get, would just not be that good. And I'd be sacrificing um, an easier early to mid game for that. So, I'm going with a very simple party. The hero, two fighters, and a pilgrim, and I'll turn the pilgrim into a sage. When you return from your travels, the, have the results of your labors recorded in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. That way, even if you rest from your journeys for a while, you can restore your status. Ah, uh, the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. Hero, please bring peace to the world quickly. Now, I said pilgrims, but what I mean is priest or cleric. Um, Nintendo is very adamant. Yeah, same thing of you take more damage if you're in front. Keep yourself with weapons and armor and rave yourself. It's not that enough that you have them. <laughs> Every role-playing game has advice like this. Welcome unto me, Denny, son of the brave Ortega. It is said that thy father Ortega met his end when he fell into a volcano's cradle at the end of a battle. We do hereby accept your petition to follow in the footsteps of your brave father. Thy enemy shall be the Archfiend Baramos. The name of the Archfiend Baramos is yet unknown in the world of men. If these things, if things remain unchanged before long, the world will be destroyed by the Archfiend. Baramos must be defeated. Seek companions at the little e eatery and start your quest. Now we can only get people from the eatery, so we can we're limited to the uh, the server, the waiter, the cook. Uh, I'm kidding, of course. But it is the only e eatery in the game, and as you can probably guess, it was originally a tavern. 
<laughs> didn't you? Sorry, I was stunned by this line of dialogue. Like, didn't you see the princess? My princess! My princess! And here's the princess. And I miss her. I cannot go out because of the Archfiend. I don't think I can stand anymore. Every day like this. So anyway. Yeah. Very simple, easy party. I'm going to name it after the same party as I took with me in Final Fantasy. Alright. Let's get this over with. Castle of Eliahan. This let series of Let's Plays for Dragon Warrior 3. Dragon Warrior 3 is a long game. So I expect this to be quite a bit longer than Final Fantasy. Alright, let's take a look at what we have. Yes, you can record my status. See, originally in the Dragon Quest games, you make a confession to the church in order to save your game. So the Imperial Scrolls of Honor is one of Nintendo's anti-religion things back, back in the day. Alright, so this is the default party. It is a sausage fest. Three male, three males, a soldier, a wizard, and a pilgrim. We are not going to be taking this party at all, but we are going to take their stuff. Wonder if there's like any backstory between Brindar, Matthias, and Viren. Give me your clothes, your clothes, give them to me. Sorry, I butchered the line at first. I just threw away the cypress stick, I misclicked. But that's okay, the cypress stick is worth nothing, it's like five gold. I'll make that out of my ass. Alright, you are all fired out of a cannon into the sun. Brindar, you have to save after everything. Leave member, Vera. See, this game has random stat gains like the other one but it has this really weird calculation system where it looks like what your steps should be as a f as like whatever class you are and if they're not there it gives you a boost if they are there it doesn't increase it that much yes I do alright we will register we'll start with Bryant actually We'll do the we'll do the ladies last, actually. All right, Bryant is a fighter and he is male. Doesn't matter his stats. Molly. is a fighter, and she is female. I hope so, at least. And then there is Willow. Willow is female, and she is a pilgrim. No, I do not want to res register 
anyone else. Sages are a chosen few. Only those who withstand the rigorous training can become sages. I wouldn't consider being a goof-off for 20 levels to be rigorous training. Goof-offs are really useless. If you want to take one along, wait until you get strong, and then take one along just for laughs. Or if you want to make a sage with them. See, if I was playing the Game Boy Color version, or the Super Nintendo version, where there's actually some post-game content that's worth optimizing your party for, then I would add stuff like, you know, make everyone sages, and then make a fighter and two thieves and stuff like that, and crazy things like that. Basically start with two goof-offs and, you know, a fighter or something. But, not doing that. Basically, the only... The, the best cleric spells are like level thir levels 30 and 40, so unless you're bringing your caster up, and the same goes for wizard by the way, except for like increase in buy kill. If you're bringing your caster up in hopes of changing them in a fighting class, you might as well wait till 40. And you can reasonably get to level 40 by just going through the game. So, you're basically using a lot of grinding, a lot of time grinding, and my current solution... Has I've seen the island floating to the west of this castle? No. See it as soon as you go outside. Yes! That is rising up on that... Oh, I thought he meant like a floating island. I am like, I don't remember a floating island. Let's sell all my former friend's stuff. But anyway, I have to sell at the item shop, I forgot. Are you the son of the Brig Ortega? Your father was a great man. But anyway, as I was saying, sorry, I get distracted talking to people. If you walk along the ocean from the castle, you come upon a cave on the promontory. Um... There's not much value in getting classed up to level 40 and then changing them. It's like, sure, you know, you can get someone who uses, like, really powerful stuff at that point. But also at that point, um, you could have beaten the game anyway, so you're basically just wasting time. Unless you really want to optimize your characters for no reason. You don't have any challenges that you can take them against that you couldn't normally take them against. Some people like to do that anyway. Um, I don't know. I've always been under the impression that why do that when I can just play another game? Alright. We sold all of our old friend's stuff. So, why don't we go out and fight some things? I love this field music. One slime and seven slimes appear. I love this game. Alright, so Molly and Bryant are going to be very weak at first. Well, I guess not that weak. They're going to be probably my weakest characters in this very in the very, very beginning. And they won't start to come into their own for a while. And to be honest, this game does have quite a bit of grinding. At least at the beginning. After a while, um, you really start to get all everything you need just by going through things. So let's visit this town up here. As you can probably guess, that little patch down there is actually a dungeon. 
Let's aim for the giant anteater. Then he have a spell. Then he does not know how to cast anything yet. See, I actually like this game. It's kind of unique in that um, you don't get to pick your all four members of your party. You get to pick three members of your party. The fourth being the hero and the main character. And I will tell you that I have played a game of Dragon Warrior three for. Um, the NES, and for, you know, I've played it on every system. I've played the Super Nintendo version where there's a few more options optimizing your characters, and I have optimized my characters so that they have all the Sage's spells, they have amazing stats, all that stuff. And even if you optimize your other three characters and use every trick in the book doing so, They'll never reach, quite reach the power of the hero. And I actually kind of like that. And this, and you notice that the status menus are green now. And they are that way because one of my characters is weak. Ah, uh, I remember this song. Welcome to the village of Reeve. Pocket said, "Time to make encounter things in some suspicious places. It's not good enough to look from a distance. Get up real close." And that gave me a hint to what to do to that one area. Eight gold pieces of gold. Good morning. See you later. All right. I need the thieves' key to open those doors. Scorched a lot of monsters, okay? They did in my mama and papa went for whimpers. So, did you stay at the inn now? D d were you sleeping in my bed? That's disgusting. Alright, so we got all these choices, and the problem is. Well, these training suits. We're going to give to Bryant and Molly. And those are the only weapons they'll be able to equip for a while. That does increase their defense power by quite a bit. Was going to sell... I remember thinking this was a huge... Like, puzzle that you had to solve. Like, I kept searching underneath it like, Oh, I wonder if there's anything... Let's face it this way and search. No, there's that's nothing. That's just basically teaching you that you can push rocks later in the game. We want to sell our clothes, so we're wearing a training suit now. Honestly, so these guys are accomplished fighters, right? Yeah, they're level 1, but that means they've gotten some training. You know, they're fighters. They've been trained to be fighters. They haven't been able to afford, like, you know, a training suit yet. Like, I've been... I'm... I'm... Okay, I guess I'm a hero. I'm a tr I've been trained to be a hero for... Or something. But I've been able to afford a copper sword and leather armor. And, you know, copper sword. I've always kind of made fun of that with the Dragon Warrior series. Dragon Quest series is that the copper sword um, is one of the weaker swords of the game yet like it's not nearly as powerful as the broadsword but it costs less it costs significantly less even though copper is a more valuable me metal than steel One of these days I'll make a game where you can buy a copper sword and it's, you know, more expensive, significantly more expensive than a steel sword, but it's a lot, a lot weaker. And people will have the impression that it's not because, you know, everyone's a, everyone has that, you know, that role-playing thing that the most expensive thing is the, is the best. Ah... 
the classic thing where it says you learned a new spell. You don't know what you learned the spell. What, what you learned the spell? What spell you learned? I learned Blaze. All right. See that cave? We have to explore that cave. See that patch of ground up north? We have to explore that patch of ground. <sighs> I am sorry. Oh, I forgot this has the ineffective thing. So you have to select what you're attacking, and if it dies before you attack it, then it, you, it negates your attack. Just like Final Fantasy 1. I, I actually like that. It gives you more strategy. Well, it forces more strategy on you. We'll get everyone up to level 3. Before we head into one of the dungeons. Yay, Willow goes up to a, the next level. And Willow gained a magic point. A single magic point. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Sorry. <laughs> I really do like the field music on this game. It really does give you like that old school role playing game feel. Three slimes appear. Now, Molly and Brian's damage will increase a lot as they level. as will their chance to crit. Horned rabbits. You sons of bitches. Look at that agility increase. As you can see, their stats are pretty much the same. Brand got a little bit more agility, but Molly will, I'm sure, make up for that. Because that's the way the game is programmed. Alright, we will stay here. I'll buy a leather shield for the Denny. That's always annoyed me, a leather shield. It's likely more expensive and I don't even know how you do it. I guess you just have like a sheet of Hardened Kerbal le level leather, like it. It just doesn't make sense why you would make a shield like that, honestly. Okay, so I'm going to go out with a crap ton of medical herbs. I think this is the first Dragon Warrior that didn't have everyone speak in sort of old English. With thou and thee and thy and thine.
And I honestly don't remember who can equip what. Like, I think the turban is only for merchants. And terrorists. Alright. This is the dungeon in which we find Zike of the Teeves. Oh, buddy. We are aiming for that Frogor. I don't care if I miss a turn. Yeah. Dear God. I remember reading a forum post saying like, My cleric is doing more damage while my pilgrim is doing more damage than my fighter. We're at like lev less than level 10 and my cleric has a chain sickle, which is like a weapon that costs 550 gold or some shit. It's like, yeah, of course he does. You geared him out. Giant Anteaters. Hmm. Denny is going to need some healing soon. In fact, probably right after this battle, just to, to make sure that nothing bad comes out of him. Comes of him. Everyone's hit points are so low right now. I think this is the way to the cave in which we will explore later on. And that's the way to the tower. Okay. Fuck you for throwing frog gores at me. I take a deep breath each time one of those things attacks me. Aha! As you can see, Molly and Brian's damage. Um, fighters are kind of like the black belts from like Final Fantasy. They get ridiculous stats, and and they get a crit rate that's unique to them, a higher crit rate as they level. Now we hear the tower music. What the fuck? Well, the gate pads are blocked. Fine, we'll fight the fucking frog ores. Those things can just ruin your day. Yeah, that's right, split the damage. Fuckers. One down, two down. Just my luck if they poison one of my party members before going down. Alright, quoth the raven. <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna finish that one. Yay, Willow gained a level. Willow seems to be leveling the fastest. Dead end. Is this way to end too? No, oh, this way is a path to pain. I'm running to frog ores with every battle here. Come on. I think the frog ores poison. They haven't. They've gotten lots of licks on me and haven't poisoned me yet. Knock on wood.
Alright. Bryant and Molly. Yeah. Um, don't know any spells. I don't know why I selected him. I do like the spellcasting music of a Dragon Quest. <sighs> What's down here? Oh, yeah. We'll come back. The first dungeon gives you a little bit of a cheater's help and everything by giving you... Um... Yeah, I just lost my train of thought. It gives you an inn in the bottom floor of the dungeon, which is actually pretty cool. How nice of them, right? Alright. I believe... Oh my god, fuck you. No. Ah! Oh, motherfucker. I did not know you would encounter poisonous things in this dungeon. Well, at least gained a level. That counts for something, right? Should I go? I should go. I can't count on getting an a finding an antidote. <sighs> well. Unless staying at an inn recovers poison. I doubt it does in this game. But we shall soon find out. I seriously doubt it. Like 95% sure it doesn't. Nope. It does not. Well, this has been fun. I will return to town, and we'll stop the first Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 3, and make fun of ourselves in the title. Walk down the stairs, and immediately get confronted by giant anteaters. Hey, at least we leveled up a couple times in here, eh? I'm guessing Willow is, like, seconds away from learning some spell that can deal with poison, too. I wonder... missing 20 wow so yeah Denny's already going in third the fighters have passed him up in defense points 
And that's probably going to be something that's going to be constant. Um, the fighters get a lot of agility as they level. And agility determines, survey says, defense points. So, and they also gain a crap ton of hit points. So they're just going to be in front, taking stuff and dishing it out. The fighters are actually amazing in this game. Like, I suppose I could have had them start as wizards, got them t to around 21 so they could learn by kill. But that wouldn't provide me with too much of an advantage for the heartache of raising three casters. Ugh. Alright, so next time we are taking antidotes for the poison we just drank. Ooh, I found a leather helmet. And the struggle for first. An advantage goes to the hero of our story. By two points. All right, now you have a town. I would say that Dragon Warrior 3 is the first timeless Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior 1 was really good, and a lot of people might be yelling at me for that one, because it was one of the first console games, but it doesn't really age well. Um, you know why I stopped. You, you know. You know why I stopped. Okay, never mind. What did she learn? Speed up! <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of loud. But anyway, Dragon Warrior 1. It was kind of a grind fest. The uh, new remake. Well, not new, <laughs> by any means. But the remake for the Super Nintendo, which only came out in Japan, made the grind considerably less. Um, Dragon Warrior 2 for the NES, the Game Boy Color version, made it better, but... Oh yeah, the Game Boy Color version of Dragon Warrior 1 did come out in the NES. I mean, the US, for Game Boy Color. It made, the, it made the grind considerably better, but the grind in Dragon Warrior 2 for the NES, the original, was pretty bad. Pretty bad indeed. And your party consisted of two goof-offs and a soldier, in terms of this. Yeah, not really. You had someone who was good at magic and someone who was good at both magic and fighting, but he ended up being terrible at both. Alright, well that's our first let's play. We failed to enter the first dungeon. This game is a lot more challenging than um, the original Final Fantasy, in my opinion, at least from the beginning. Then again, it does have the added bonus that if you wipe, you can start all over again. And it does also have the bonus where um, it has less groups that will instantly kill you if they get the jump on you. So, I think it's more challenging, but also more fair, is a good way of putting it. And there's no places to search. Anyway, thank you for joining us, and until next time, have a good night.